Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of A-level further maths. Here we're looking at regions on an Argan diagram using what we've done previously on loci to answer questions on exercise 2f. So previously what we've seen in loci is a way of um, plotting a set of coordinates or a set of complex numbers based on a given rule such as this. Now previously we've seen an example where there's an equals sign here what we're looking for now is the locus of points where the where the radius is less than 2 or the distance from the point 4 2 is less than 2. So here the first thing we need to do is to treat this as a graph transformation so we've moved right by 4 and up by 2 to find the center points of our circle. The reason it's a circle is because the distance away from the point 4 2 is always going to be less than or equal to 2 and that forms a circle, and the circle is going to be of radius 2. It's going to intersect this x-axis exactly because the distance up on the y-axis is 2. And given that the radius has to be less than or equal to, the, the way that we convert this into now a region is, in this case, we want the radius to be less than 2, so we're going to be shading the inside of the circle here. If the symbol was the other way around and it was greater than or equal to 2, we'd be shading everything else apart from the inside of the circle. If the symbol was just greater than 2, the way we would incorporate this into the diagram is we would have a dotted line around the circle um, to signify that the um, the set of complex numbers does not include the boundary of this circle. Okay. So another one that we've worked on previously is a perpendicular bisector. Now in this case here, what we're looking at is for the distance away from 4 to be less than the distance away from 6. So the way we're going to do this is by drawing a nice little diagram. 4 and 6, it cuts a perpendicular bisector at 5. Now what we want is for the distance away from the coordinate 4 to be less than the distance away from the coordinate 6. Or in other words, the distance away from the coordinate 6 is going to be bigger than the distance of a coordinate away from 4. Let's take this coordinate up here. The distance away from 4 is less than the distance away from 6, or 6 is further away from this coordinate than the point 4, 0. So this coordinate is inside the region that we're looking for here. It's the left-hand side that we're going to be shading in here. Another type of question that we've seen previously is a half-line type question. Now here we're looking for the argument um, starting at 2, 2, to be in between 0 and pi by 4. Now they've both, both um, got equal two signs on their inequalities, so it's going to be um, a, a solid straight line here. So plot a coordinate at 2, 2. That's where we're going to start our half lines. The first line is going to be strictly right and horizontal for the argument being 0. And the second line is going to be at an angle of pi by 4 rounds from that horizontal line. And given that the argument wants to be in between this region, we're going to shade inside that um, corner there. Okay. Now here the next question comes when we try and put all of this together at once. And this is a common question that I'll ask in an exam to um, highlight the region that satisfies either two or three um, sets of loci inequality points. And we've done all of these questions separately, but all that's left for us to do now is to just plot them all on the same graph area. And given that it has to satisfy all of these areas, it's going to satisfy this area here. Okay, this is the region that we're looking for here. Alright, so your turn to have a go at two questions here. Pause the video and try these two out. Alright then, so the question three and question four are phrased slightly differently, but really they're exactly the same question, just different conditions on the inequality here. 
um, on the set of locus points here. So the first coordinate is going to start at one, so minus one, minus one, and it's going to have a radius of one. So it's going to intersect both of those lines at tangents, and it's going to be inside that region there. I'll just make sure I remember that. And for this um, for this coordinate here, it's going to start at zero and go round to three pi by four. Oh, so it looks like we haven't got any intersection points there. Okay, so we've got the region up here. There's no intersection points. Okay, all right. And so question four here is um, we're looking for the uh, radius away from the center points to be three. So we have three here, three i up here, um, minus three here, and minus three i down here. And the second condition is for arg of z plus three, so we'll start the argument at this point here, to be in between pi by four, that's that line there, and pi, that's this line here. So the argument's going to be in between that region there, and in inside this circle here, so the region that intersects um, this graph here is that part there. Um, okay, so, oh, whoops, sorry, this is uh, strictly less than three, so this line here should actually be a dotted circle going round like that. If it was, uh, if it had an equality on it, then it would be the solid line, but given it doesn't have the equality on it, it's just a dotted line going round, so do beg my pardon for that. All right, so your turn to have a go at some of these questions here from exercise 2F. Um, as I say, they are a regular um, type of question to appear in an exam, so lots of practice. Make sure you're good at it, and really it's not that tough once you've got a good start on it. All right, thanks very much for watching.